Hi everyone, I'm Kay Mann, member of the U.S. Revolutionary Socialist Organization Solidarity, affiliated with the Fourth International. I've been asked to say a few words about the elections that took place yesterday, November 3rd. Today, November 4th, we still don't have a, uh, a winner, although it appears that Joe Biden, the Democratic uh, candidate, is on the way uh, to win the elections. The reason why we didn't have a, re uh, an, um, a, a result on election night is because in the United States, there's no national or federal political electoral system. Each state designs and carries out its own elections, and they report those to the results to a, what's called the Electoral College, which is organized on the national level. The majority, um, by simple to majority, all electoral college votes from each state, and that's dependent on the size of the state, with large states like California receiving 45, and small states like Wyoming getting two or three, um, those um, add up into the Electoral College and the first candidate to reach 270 wins. And Biden is close at this moment. Um, so each state has very different um, methods of counting the ballots, including mail-in ballots and absentee ballots. Some are have to be counted the night of the election, and others um, can be done in the days after as um, the votes are counted, the ballots are counted. So that explains the reason why there hasn't been a clear uh, um, victor. The other reason why is because of the vote was so close. And the reason it was so close um, was largely um, the lack of an exciting uh, Democratic Party campaign that would really speak to the needs of the majority of people in the United States suffering under the twin crisis of the pandemic and the economic crisis. We have massive unemployment here, um, threat of evictions, um, and uh, small businesses are going under. Uh, Joe Biden really didn't have really much to say to that. Um, for the last few months, Biden has been threatening, um, Trump, excuse me, has been threatening um, to invalidate the results or to try to overturn the results in case he didn't win the election. And he's had two plans to two terrains he's trying to do this on. The first is he was hoping to excite enough uh, physical violence, right-wing militia people, gun-toting uh, reactionaries, his who um, are in his camp to intimidate voters at the polls. This became difficult with mail-in votes, so um, that um, hasn't materialized. And there hasn't been any widespread voter intimidation in the most um, uh, violent way as it had been uh, feared. The other strategy that Trump is hoping to use is to use the courts to somehow win an election. And those following U.S. politics know for the last few months he's done all he could to uh, stack, successfully to stack uh, many federal courts at different levels with uh, right-wing reactionary um, judges. So his strategy right now is to somehow try to invalidate the votes in some of the states that are considered swing states, some of the last states that um, would um, uh, assure a Biden a victory. So we might see these in the next few um, days. And we'll also, um, if Pennsylvania becomes uh, a key determinant state, we may not have an answer until Friday. So these are some of the uh, ins and outs of why uh, the election is happening the way it is. Um, the left has been um, anticipating the possibility of violence and some variety of some sort of a coup or attempt of Trump to hold on to power in spite of having lost the election. There has been a t talk in labor circles around the country, um, including resolutions passed by local unions and um, other labor affiliates um, to strike in event of um, any attempt to um, steal the election. This, of course, raises the question of political independence of workers from uh, the Democratic Party, which has um, successfully corralled unions and um, African Americans and other oppressed um, communities into its grand coalition since the 1930s, while delivering very, very little. So um, when we talk about um, Republican attempts to suppress the vote from Trump and his party um, in different various states, uh, which has also been a, 
uh, one of the ongoing stories of this election. Uh, we also have to remember that Democrats have played their role um, in using um, legal maneuvers um, to limit the Democratic participation of U.S. workers. For example, um, the Democratic Party in Wisconsin, along with uh, Pennsylvania, successfully used its position in the ju state judiciary to um, eliminate the Green Party candidates, Howie Hawkins and Angela Walker from the ballot in those states, as well as Arizona. Um, the Green Party candidates were offering uh, an anti-capitalist, um, authentic Green New Deal, um, and a whole uh, anti-capitalist, socialist, uh, environmentalist program uh, to uh, lead us out of the crisis we're in. So um, these are um, uh, a few comments um, uh, from, um, from uh, the United States and from uh, the National Committee of Solidarity.